Hello and welcome to Arctinia Stella. Probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, new cave dropped, and uh, a lot of people have been having some trouble getting to the cave. So I wanted to pop on and make a quick little guide. So if you follow this, uh, you'll have no problem getting both artifacts and some drops and hopefully some rock drake eggs. I also have a little secret we'll talk about when we get to the rock drakes for spawning extra high levels. Um, I got myself... The first essential, which is the Shadow Mane, I pumped a bunch of weight onto this guy. That's why he's Jim Carrey, because I'm very funny. And you're going to want to put a bunch of Mushroom Brew onto your Shadow Mane. You're going to want to equip yourself up with a nice set of hazmat material, preferably all the way repaired, but I live on the edge, I guess. Um, another good option for you to have is Cactus Broth. This can be really helpful when you're collecting drops, as well as eggs. So I would bring a few of those. Lazarus Chowder is absolutely necessary. You won't live without it. And then a scuba tank is kind of a, a good thing to have just as an emergency out. <laughs> Obviously bring some food. Some health potions are always a good idea. And uh, also bring either a pick or an axe. You're going to need it to get to the Rock Drake area. If you don't bring one, then uh, you're not going to be able to get through. All right, a couple of things to know before we get into the cave is that you can't uncryopod any creatures, so only what you bring is what you have. Uh, graphics are looking a bit weird here. All right, so before we go in, I'm going to soup up, and let's do it. Here we go. So as you can see in the corner there, there's the coordinates for the entrance to the cave. You go down, we're going to load it in. And here we go. So... My strategy is that I avoid all of the eels and everything, and I take a left. I just keep burying the left wall here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. See, sometimes you'll get stung, but you can actually still use the shadow main dash. But anyway, we're going to just continue right along this left wall here. Just continuously follow it around, avoiding any jellyfish. Hopefully eels. Keep following that until you reach this point right here. Uh, you'll know to stop going left when you see that square little hole there. You're going to actually go straight through here and down. Through all these little crystal areas. Once you get to the bottom of this, you're going to unsurprisingly follow it through and you'll get to the first air pocket. Alright, so from this point there's two directions you can go. The first direction, when I kill these stupid spiders, the first direction I'm going to take you is to the artifact. So from the artifact, that's the hole that we came out of, right? I'm going to gamma up so it's nice and easy to see. If you follow the river this way, right there where that bit of lighting is underneath that crystal, if I can manage to get my shadow man to land on the beach here. Okay, okay, we did it. Yay. Anyway, toughest part of the cave right there. If you go through here, there'll be some Karkinos stomping on some megalos I guess and um, you just follow it through sometimes there's mega yagos there as well you're going to dive right down through this little cavern here it doesn't go very far just follow it all the way until it surfaces you and now this all just kind of loops upwards so I'm going to skip a little bit of a segment here by just going straight up this way but if you follow the path it leads you right up here there's only one way to go. Watch out for the Arthropleura. If you lose your hazmat suit in here, you uh, you die. <laughs> you just die. And in the event of that happening, I strongly recommend you soul ball your creature. Because uh, th that's increasing the likelihood that you'll actually be able to get it back. Anyway, there's sometimes a drop here. Yep, and it looks like there is one. This is where the cactus broth comes in handy. Although I just realized I made a mistake here. See, now I have a debuff on Jim Carrey for a while because I forgot to reapply the the soup. That'll happen. Uh, these are just really bad. Alright. And then, if you keep following this way up, over here is the first artifact. It's the artifact of the clever. It used to be out in the desert. Now it is over here. I'm gonna clear out some of this garbage here so we can get these drops. As you can see, there's a Mega Yago perch perched over there. Uh, so you are gonna want to look out for that. For some reason, there's also a massive amount of bugs in this cave that just come and attack you whenever you kill anything, so wear that. Don't immediately hop off your mount. Can't seem to hit this damn thing. Alright, there we go. The cactus broth should help a lot. 
with looting this kind of stuff. I'm, no, I'm not going to loot the artifact myself today because I already have a bunch of them. Um, see, I actually have a better uh, blueprint than that, so I'm not going to take that. And I don't need any saddles weighing me down right now, uh, specifically. So, alright, the Mega Yago's pissed. Um, I guess we could real super fast just grab this. There we go. Oh god, oh god. Okay, alright, just let's bail. I don't want to get killed by a Yag <laughs> Mega Yago in this. Um, I don't even know what we got. We got a pretty nice compound bow blueprint. Wow. And then that's going on the ground. Oh god. Okay, that sounded like nameless. Which actually could be a good place to farm up some nameless venom. You're gonna need it. You are going to need it if you do this method. Because you're gonna have rock drake eggs. And some really good ones if you follow my uh, secret little maybe possibly exploit. I don't know if it's an exploit. In it's Maybe just a, a feature. <laughs> I don't know. But I've gotten some really, really high level eggs to spawn. And I'll show you how to do it. Because it is repeatable. I've got... Come on. There we go. Anyway, we're going to head right back the direction we came from. And I'm going to go back to that first entrance. Where we landed into the first air pocket. <clears throat> That way, if you're not interested in knowing about the artifact, you can just continue um, before we uh, we went to go find it. So that's artifact one. Here's the cave where we came out from when we first entered into the air pocket. So if you're going for Drake eggs, then you're going to go this way. And you'll know you're going the right way because you'll see this little cliff. It has like a little lip edge. And it goes around into a cave underneath a waterfall. Just like this. All right, then you're going to swim straight up and over this way. From this point on, it's it's pretty straightforward. This is uh, chamber number two, and it's pretty easy to remember where to go from here because it's going to be kind of in the same direction. You're going to want to go in that direction across the cave, right over here to the very next cave on the left side, right here. And I'm keeping my coordinates on the whole time. So if you ever get lost, just pause the video, look at the coordinates. Obviously, make yourself safe first. If you're stopping in the water, that's not a good idea. Never stop in the water. When you come through here, as you come up, there's going to be one way to the top and one way to the bottom. You want to make sure you go in the bottom one. The top one's just a dead end. Then another thing, you want to follow the light. See, that's not lit up. So you want to go through the tunnel that has the light. Even though it's very scary with jellyfish. Same thing. There's another lightless tunnel. Don't go that way. Go this way and go up. That part can be a little confusing. But if you mess it up, just keep swimming. Don't panic. Just keep swimming around just like Finding Nemo. And make sure you're checking your soups. Because you don't want to take a bunch of radiation damage. Now, when you get down here to this weird meteorite parasite crystal zone. You're just going to swim right across. And then... This is actually pretty straightforward as well. Oh, God, so many jellies. Terrifying. But it does split off into two little uh, tubes you can take here, but they both kind of actually lead into the same area. So it's really not a big deal which way you take once you get up here. But what I like to do is cut diagonally across this cavern because there's a hole there and there's a hole here. They both lead to the same chamber, so you can take either one. But when you get in, you're going to take a right, and you're going to go all the way down to the end of the chamber. So if you took the other path, you'd come out over there. But since we took this one, we come out a little closer. It's just the faster way of going. But you can't really mess this part up, so don't worry too much. Just don't run into jellyfish. That's the main thing. Main takeaway, stay away from jellyfish. All right. Now this is pretty much the longest segment of straight swimming that you're going to have. But we're going to have one more chamber that we're going to come up on here in just a moment. All right. And all of that segment, I didn't really say much because you can't really do much wrong. But when you come up here, if you stay to this side of the cavern, 
right here. You came up there. Stay on this side of the cavern. Ignore the Mega Yago. Uh, oh god, there's two Mega Yago. That's a little scary. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit further to unaggro them. Uh, but where we want to go next is in that little pool there. So uh, I guess we'll go for it. I'm just a little scared here because I did aggro those Mega Yago and you know, they can go in the water. But right here, see these little rocks? These are these are no ordinary rocks. Oh, no, no. It's not just a rock. It's a boulder. And it's a boulder that we can destroy and we want to. I'm going to go ahead and destroy both of them just to make sure I have, uh, you know, extra room. There we go. Nice and wide open. Then you're going to descend straight down. It's always good to make sure your oxygen is fully done and you still have your Lazarus chowder going. Now, when you come through here, be very, very careful. There's lots of jellyfish, as you can see. I like to go around the right side and just out into the purple area. And then from here, this is kind of a, a bit of a labyrinth. So be careful and just swim straight this way. Ah, underneath this. And then what you're really looking for, if you get lost and you can't manage to go that exact direction that I just did, then you're going to look for these seaweed going up. That kind of tells you that you can rise up right here when you see that green seaweed. From here, it's smooth sailing. You're just going to follow the path straight. It doesn't really veer off, so, you know, have a good time. You've pretty much made it. There's still a few things that could kill you along the way, but once you get here, you're going to surface and... This little chamber here has... Ah, gosh. Okay. Well, if I can get out of the water, I could show it. Um, it has uh, just a long way down this way. Well, not very long. That leads kind of to nothing. I know there's a Mega Yaga that spawns here, and there's like a little dark cavern. But so far, I haven't seen anything over here, like any drops or otherwise. So I wouldn't really worry too much with that. But when you surface, if you stick to the right wall, you can go up... And let me go ahead. I'm going to reapply both soups just because. Even though I don't really need the Lazarus Chowder right now, I'm still going to keep it active. Because we still do have some water to go through. Now, this is where you want to start paying a little bit of attention to the drakes. We're going to kill this drake here. Is there another one? Now, you don't have to kill the drakes here. It's not It's not necessary. But I'm going to kill this one, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. You probably think, oh, well, it's because you want high levels, right? Well, yes and no. We are not at the nest area yet. This is just the preamble. But that particular... Ooh, there's a mutagen there. Yeah, if you want um, the Rockwell tentacle plants, you can get them right there. But uh, it will spawn a summoner, so if you think summoners are kind of annoying and you don't like random Thylas showing up, I'm going to kill these Seekers. I don't know why. They're just bothering me. Out of here. Having your little huddle. All right, I don't see any other rock drakes in here, but um, it's not too important right now. All right, so from this point on, you're just going to go to the right, and then you're going to go to the left. There's only one way to go. Now, this room looks like it might be confusing. It's really not. Um, if you want to get straight through... Hold on. Okay. I need to kill this rock drake. If you want to go straight through, you can just drop to the ground and head in that direction. Which we'll show in just a moment after I've killed this rock drake. This does have a pur purpose, I promise you. I'm not just killing these for fun. But these particular rock drakes have to die. I don't really like those Arthropura there either. Arthropleura can be very, very life-ending down here. I'm going to check around a little bit down here for rock tricks. There's one right there. He also has to go. All right. Sorry, buddy. This is a very pretty rock trick, but... You got to go. You got to get out of here. All right. We're going to check just a little bit around the bottom of this area here. Sometimes they could be crawling around here. I just want to make sure they're all gone. Oh, there's one. Jeez. Okay. Level 35. Volunteered himself. You're just terrible, huh? There we go. Alright, rock drakes are down. So, um, sometimes you can find a little mutagen thing that spawns right here as well. Or sometimes some rock drakes. But the way you want to go if you want to get to the eggs is right through here. This is going to take us up.
And then we will enter into our last swimming segment. All right. Then you just dive straight down. Take a little bit of a turn this way. And then right back up. All right. And you're looking for the little rounded edge. Oh, I got to eat some soup, 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 soup. Okay, there we go. Try and keep that soup on. Don't let your shadow main take too much damage because if it does, you won't be able to spend as much time down here uh, farming up some good eggs. Then when you get up here, this is the nest room. There's four spots total where uh, eggs can spawn. We're going to go ahead and show all four of them to you now. All right, right here we've got a nice little level 95 egg. That's nice. I'll be taking that. I'm looking for low level eggs for reasons. Reasons why I want them. I'm not going to get into them, but there are. I have my reasons. Oh, there's a 185 here. Oh, that would be good. That would normally be quite good. 32 melee? Oh, yeah. This would normally be a good Drake. But I have a lot better, and I have ways of getting a lot better. If we can find a better one. Still depends on RNG. All right, good grief. Damn, that thing has 38 in melee. That's incredible. That is really, really good for that level. Wow. I mean, I have a lot higher than that already. So... Must I? All right, we pretty much killed every single rock drake in the entire area. So that's good. <laughs> now we can just go grab up the eggs. So here's the second spot right here. Oh, God. Oh, am I up there? You know what? We'll take it. It counts. Yes, level 80. Good, 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 good. This is weird to say that that's good, but it is. I want anything under level 100. I'm looking for good eggs too, but not on this trip. All right, there's egg number three. And I like to keep them on my shadow main because I don't like to be weighed down. And then, nest number four is right there. And it doesn't look like it has an egg in it. So we don't have to bother with jumping up there. But that's all four nests. Now, there is a little bit further in the cave that you can go here. If you go up this way past that one, the second nest that I showed you, there'll be just a little hallway. It doesn't go for very far. But at the end of the hallway, there are some Alpha Mega Yagos. Now, it used to be three, but I think they changed it to one. On day one, it, it was three. You want to make sure that your mount is on passive. You want to make sure that you have Cactus Broth. These are two essentials. Now, watch this. This Mega Yago will not bother me. He won't even know I'm here. Oh, wow, that's quite good. Uh, a Pteranodon saddle on a map with no flyers. Uh, amazing. As long as you use your cactus broth, this guy, he will leave you alone. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Get some good BPs from here. But yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen red drops here. I've seen blue drops. I've seen a bunch of different things. The artifact is obviously right there in the middle. Look, he's not even going to... He doesn't mind. Um, I'll take that. I'm going to leave the gun. I think I have a better gun, and I don't want it to weigh me down. So yeah. That is how you get the second artifact, and if you want some drops, this is a good place to get them. Now, let's talk about how you can spawn up some really, really, really powerful rock drake eggs for yourself. Now, I think the max level down here in the nest area is 190. I think so. I, I don't think I've seen any higher than that. I think that's as high as they go inside the, neg the uh, nest area itself, so... If you're, you know, if you're satisfied with that, then, you know, you'll find some, some decent eggs at around that level. Like, this guy's not that bad. But if you want something a bit crazier, like maybe, let's say, cave levels. That's doable. And I discovered this on accident. Just because my shadow man was pretty weighed down. See, this, this egg, it would normally be good. And it is good. It's delicious, even. It has great nutritional value. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Once you see, once you see the reality, you'll understand why I did it.
All right, so what you're gonna want to do if you want really, really good rock drakes, you're gonna want to go back down through here and back up the spiral stairs, I guess you could say, of the next room until you get where, um, back sort of where that mutagel was, um, the last air pocket, essentially. So not this room. Ugh. Let's see, can I make that? Oh, perfect! Oh, I'm so good at Shadow Mains. Okay, anyway, let's not talk about the thousands of times I failed doing that. Let's just focus on that one time that it succeeded. Anyway, you're going to go back down this way, and you're going to be on the lookout for drakes. They can spawn cave levels over in this area right here. See, so there's one right there. He's 140. He's not that good, so we're probably going to want to kill him. They can spawn a lot higher than that. And once you found one that you like, which I'll look around a little bit and see if there is one. If not, I'll just show you how to do it. Definitely don't want this guy, though. Okay, so I did find one that was good enough for my demonstration here. <laughs> As you can see, it's level 255 now. Normally, this is not what you're going to get at the nest caves. It was just spawned in that back room there. And what you're going to want to do if you want to get some really, really crazy high-level eggs is you're going to want to drag these fellas. Now, I have confirmed that it does not matter if it's male or female. It'll still work, and you're just going to want to bring them down. Just going to want to bring them right down. Right. Should follow you easy enough. Let him hit you every now and again, and he won't lose aggro for sure. Damn, okay, cool. Alright, so this one isn't even... It's really not even that good. You can definitely get a lot better than this. But, uh... We're just gonna use this for the demonstration. If you just drag him up this hallway... And they will follow you the whole way. Now, I cannot guarantee that this is not gonna be patched out. Uh, I would honestly expect that it will be, so get your drakes while they're hot. <clears throat> when you get up to here, you're going to wait for him to get right up on your butt. Then you're going to jump off, making sure he follows you down into the cavern. Right. Let's see. Okay, that should be good enough. I usually like to get them in the water. Where did it even go? Okay, there. It's in the water. All right, so now he's swimming around. You can leave him there. He doesn't have to follow you any further than that. Oh my god, there's a lot of eels in here now all of a sudden. And then you want to come up here and just start taking eggs. You'll notice something magical happens. Alright, so in the position that he's in now, for whatever reason, it seems that if you take them down there, they will be within range to affect some of these nest spawns. Uh, let's see. So none have spawned in yet there. We may need to give it some time. Oh, I need some soup. Alright, there's a level 60 there. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this drake real quick. And essentially what you can do is, if you, if you don't like the drakes you're getting, you know, kill all the ones up here. Kill all the ones back where we found the higher level one and then just go back and forth take a little break at the mega yago area and just eat meat heal up your shadow main or just watch something on youtube you know that's what i just did i just sit here and heal my heal my main up because he is going to be taking damage throughout but once you have a high level drake in position you're going to want to just be checking these nests and then running back to the mega yago area taking short breaks. It does look like my main is getting pretty heavy. So it's we're, we're close to the end of the journey. I'm going to check over here one more time and then I'm going to go... Oh! Looks like... There it is. See? 255. That drake is now within range, so if I pick this up, I'll get myself a 255 egg. Now, that 255... Oh, jeez. My server's lagging. Okay, that's cool. Server lag, or maybe... Am I just, uh, okay. That's not great.
There we go. <laughs> anyway, um, that Drake actually doesn't have fantastic stats for me. I actually already have better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But this is how you do it. This is how you accomplish that test. And then when you're done with the Drake and you want to get a new one over there, you're going to want to make sure to kill it. Now, I'm not 100% sure, um, you know, how many you could stack up and just keep trying to get <laughs> over and over again. But you, you can definitely just get as many as you want of, like, that two, 255, I think it was. I could just keep, you know, um, running back and getting more of those as much as I want. It'll keep respawning until I kill it. So once you want to get a new one, I really strongly recommend killing the one that's down here. Or if you're going to leave, you should probably kill it too. Because other people won't know that it's there and uh, they won't know to kill it. So um, once they're in the water, they like weirdly don't seem to want to fight back. Uh, if I can manage to hit it. So it's always going to be good just to take care of these guys before you leave. Oh god, I'm going to get healed, but that's okay. I didn't see any jellyfish in here, so I should be able to handle it. Just trying to kill the rock trait, guys, please. Dead? It's almost dead. There it is. Okay, it's dead. Oh, let me out. Okay. Let me out. Ugh. Let me all the way out, though. One more jump ought to do it. Ugh. All right, so that's how you get yourself strong rock drake eggs. I'm going to go ahead and start heading towards the entrance. Remember, the more soup you bring, the longer you can stay. You can always keep refilling up your health by just spam eating meat. So keep that in mind. We're going to check our soups. The soups are looking good. Let's go ahead and head out. So I will go ahead and walk you through the exit. Obviously, it's just the same way you go for the entrance, just backwards, but... Some people aren't that good at that, so I'm going to show you the full way. So one thing you want to remember when you're leaving this cave is there is a spot, remember, where you have to break open a rock to get through. If you spend a large amount of time down here killing rock drakes and so forth, and see, there's another really good drake right there. That's a pretty that's a pretty damn good Drake. I'm gonna kill it though. It's, I still have better stats than that. I've been farming these things quite a bit. <laughs> but once you once you're ready to leave, you need to remember to check your soups before you head out because you have a pretty long swim and you won't be able to re-up on oxygen until you get past that area where you have to crack the rocks down and they might be respawned so just just be aware that that can happen and don't panic if and when it does oh, oh god i gotta eat soups okay stuck in the ceiling wait there's another rock drake i thought maybe not okay i thought i saw a rock drake ended up just falling fantastic all right yep we're here but yeah, if you just drag the rock drakes over from here, you can uh, you can constantly get yourself some really good eggs and um, breed all the best stats together. And you can easily get high 50s in pretty much every stat if you are patient enough and you make a lot, and I mean a lot, of soup. So farm up those mushrooms. All right, so once you leave the rock drake, drake nest area, you're going to head back over into this way, and I'm going to check for drakes while we're here, just because. Okay, new drakes. You can drop down here, and you're going to head back into the water. Always check your soups. So it looks like my Lazarus chowder is running a little low, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. I also have a spare scuba tank that I brought with me, just in case for any emergencies. But when you come back down to this part, remember that there's usually jellyfish at the bottom of this first little drop. So be careful. Make sure you pay attention to where you're going. And once you get down here, um, it can be a little bit tricky. What I look for is this. And I just pop over this way. And 
I don't always go the exact same direction. But once you see this little thing, this little rock here with the purple, if you go right around here and take a left and just keep bearing left, here we are. This is where the rocks that you have to break to get through are. Now, those ones stayed open, so that's a good thing. We don't have to hop off our mount, but keep aware that's there. Now, if you surface over here, there is sometimes a Mega Yago, and there is one there right now. But if you leap right over it, like so, it'll take you right back to the next area. Then you want to go and descend through the purple. Now, before I go ahead and descend, there is one last secret of this cave that we should discuss. Now, if we go back to where we came up from the Rock Drag Tunnel, just past this Mega Yago there, it's right underneath us now. If you come up and you actually go the opposite direction down the cave, if you were to continue following the river this way, it actually goes down into an area where you can summon an Ice Titan. Yes, you can summon an Ice Titan. Now, I'm not going to go all the way down there because there's not really anything to see and it is just a straight shot. So, you can't really get too lost down there. Um, but if you want to, you can use an Alpha Tuso Eye, an Alpha Mosa Tooth, and an Alpha Shark Fin. As well as um, the artifact that you get uh, near the Rock Drake eggs, just past them. And you can summon yourself an Ice Titan underwater that you will have to fight without the use of cryopods. So, bring friends! Um, or you can slowly drag in. I have a plan to bring in Aberrant Spinos just one at a time. And then kill myself and, you know, back and forth and back and forth. Just a bunch. To kind of have some stored down here for the fight. But that's not for a while in the future. Anyway, you're going to come back up this way, swim right through, past the weird little wall tick things. Oh, jeez. Okay, so when this happens, don't panic. Go into your inventory. Equip that. Count for 10 seconds. Make sure you take your Lazarus Chowder and re-equip your hat suit. Maybe pop a couple potions for safekeeping. But you'll be okay. If you start drowning, don't panic. Just get away from the immediate problems, which are the jellyfish and the eels. Get far away from them, and then worry about that. One step at a time. I haven't died down here in a long time. Because I keep my cool. Anyway, when you get up here, you can either take a left right down the purple passage if you want to go faster, or you can go that way. It'll take you to the same room. Ah, okay, I got stuck in my jump animation, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. That was weird. Must have been like a server save or something. That happens from time to time. That is the most horrifying wall of jellyfish I've ever seen. Anyway, you're going to go right through this cave, and then you're going to go straight up. Right past here. And then back down again. Not too far down. Don't want to run into the jellies. And then back up. Out of the meteorite parasite area. Alright, and then you're going to want to follow the green and head this direction. And then back down. Now, this is kind of the more dangerous area. So remember, don't go in the dark. Stay in the light. And stay away from the jellies. It's okay if you get shocked by eels. You can even do your little shadow main leap to get you some space. And see, again, that way leads to dark. Don't follow the dark. Follow the light into this cavern and then up through the purple crystals. Then you go back down this way to the left. And you're back into the second chamber. Hooray! You're almost there. You've made it through the worst part, anyway. And you're just going to leap right across the cave here. Going to take some of that. And then you're going to dive through the blue... Oh, there's a rock trick right there. 
You gonna dive through here? Head towards the bottom, always watching for those jellyfish. I would really highly recommend binding your gamma to some key binds. I do that so I can keep an eye on it. Then you get up through here and you're back into chamber one. And then once you can manage to get yourself out of it, <laughs> you're just gonna head off in this direction and leap right across here. And here you are. That way leads out, that way leads back to the first artifact. We're gonna head this way and head right out of the cave. Now, as far as this, this is quite easy to get out of. You're just gonna go straight up and you're gonna look. You're gonna look around. Follow this path straight through. Don't turn that way. Go straight through and then follow this right hand wall all the way to the exit. If I just stay right on this wall, obviously give it some space because you want to be able to see if there's jellyfish around. But follow that wall. And it will lead you right to here, the exit of the cave, at which point you can just ascend and escape. So hopefully that guide helps people. I don't know. <laughs> if you want strong drakes, I think it's a pretty good tactic. Um, otherwise, the best you can do is probably 190. But, uh, yeah, enjoy, and happy egg hunting. Bye for now. Peace.